Good morning, guys. I don't know if you guys can see me. Can you? How about now? Just kidding. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, December 4th. Let's get this day started, shall we? Just so you guys know, it is December 1st. So let's get started. You, it's, I just realized it's December 1st. You know what that means. Let's go! Alright guys, so let's get serious now. I'm gonna get this day started real quick. So I always start off my mornings with three eggs scrambled. Fuck all the other styles. Three eggs scrambled and two pieces of wheat toast with some jelly, not too sugary, you know, because you gotta watch the sugar and all that kind of shit because currently in prep for competition so we can't be fucking around guys, right? So let me get this shit prepared and we'll be right back. Oh, you better get up. Alright guys, so we're back. Chef Sergio in the house. Got my huevitos. Got one huevito there. Boom. Two, three. Some coffee. Mail. We got my pan. Ooh. Sexy pan. Alright. Real shit, let's get this shit started. Let's crack these motherfuckers up. Yeah. I'm too strong. Get my handy dandy fork. Scramble the shit out of this motherfucker. There you go. There's a great forearm exercise there in case you know. And in the morning, you want to get a quick forearm pump. You're going to give it a nice lick. And then your forearm will get hella pumped. Pull a branch in. And that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Do another step 10. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, that was your first training exercise, guys, of the morning. Let me throw away these shells. Real quick. Falling apart. Mama. Alright. Anyways, guys, so I'm gonna cook this shit up real quick. And then I'll be right back with the finished masterpiece because Chef Sergio always cooks some dope ass shit. Woo! Alright, guys, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Uh, uh, get a little chest pump. Boom, boom. Woo wee! Let's go. After nearly almost bringing down the house, you know, we got breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast. Oh, I swear, those are not steroids, they're vitamins. Okay, vitamins. Anyways, that's what we got here today. We got three eggs scrambled, two pieces of small ass wheat toast. What the fuck is this shit? Look at this shit. It's like. It's smaller than my hand, man. Man, fuck. My vitamins, for sure. Milk. Because calcium makes strong bones. And strong bones are important when you're working out. Alright, guys? So, I'll see you guys later. Let me eat this shit real quick. Ooh. All right, guys. So, I just finished breakfast. Breakfast always gets me in a good-ass mood. See the smiley face? Breakfast. Shut up. Anyways, so I'll see you guys later at the gym. Probably hit some legs, maybe squats. If not, I'll probably deadlift and some back because who doesn't like hitting back, right? The fuck legs. Just kidding, I love legs. See you guys later.
Alright guys, so it's currently about 6.46 p.m. About to head to the gym right now. Gonna hit back and yeah, just back. So do some deadlifts, all that kind of shit. Maybe squat a little bit because uh, I can't work out Sunday because I got a wedding. So I gotta find a way to incorporate some legs and shit. But yeah, I mean, I'm out of the way working out legs but I'm deadlifting and shit, but so let's get to it about record some shit. That's why I'm going so late in the night, so there's less people at the gym, less people staring at you and shit, you know? But yeah, I'll see you guys there. I'm late in the car right now, though. Hey, the weekend of a shit. Woo! See ya. I give you all my heart We are meant to be It's clear to see My love is bigger than I thought I got everything I want When I hold you with my arm Alright guys So pretty much just finished up my Back routine So I start off You'll see in the video but I just wanted to give you guys like a little 
verbal representation of what I just did. So, because obviously I'm gonna put it like into like a cool ass edit and shit. Cause like I like the whole media effect and all that kind of stuff. So technically, what I did. So I have three types of um, deadlift days. So there's days where I do deficit deadlifts that help improve my conventional deadlift. I have sumo deadlifts, stiff leg deadlifts, all that kind of shit. So today was my heavy lifting deadlift. I only recorded one of my working sets, so I do 10 sets of three reps at 90% of my max. So my max is at 405, so I did about 390, three, yeah, 390 of uh, uh, 390 pounds on the bar. So I filmed my sixth set. So right there, I'm already pre-fatigued, hella fucking tired. 10 sets are brutal as fuck. And to top it all off, you know, because I wanted to go crazy. Uh, after the 10th set, I did a drop set, so I did, um, I should have recorded it, but I'm sorry guys, but next time I will. So pretty much on, um, let me put my bag on my car right here, real quick. So I can continue talking to you guys, alright. So pretty much on my 11th set, I did a dead, uh, uh, drop set. I'm losing my train of thought over here, guys. Uh, I got distracted because I saw someone over there. Anyways, so I did a drop set, so I did two reps with 390. Dropped it down to 315, did 5 reps, dropped it down to 215, did 10 reps, and then I dropped it down to 135, and I did 15 reps, just to like really kill off my my legs and lower back. Then I moved on to different variations of rows, so I did a upright row, or you could just call it like a pull down, but I, you're upright, so technically it's an upright row, but anyways, I'm not going to get into that shit. So I did a, a pull down, which is more for lats, so as I'm, I'm focusing a lot on lats, because lats benefit my bench so everything I do is like to benefit my three main lifts squat bench and deadlift so that's what I'm focusing on because that's what I compete in then after that so I did that pull down which really focuses on your lats so you take about three seconds going up so you're really squeezing that shit and then you go down fast as fuck then I did um seated rows and then I did single arm rows just to really get a little pump on my lats and then uh, what else did I do? I did abs, which I did not record because everyone does abs. So like, pretty much I use a rope, I put it all the way on top, I get on my knees, and then I just crunch that shit out. I do five sets of ten, super set it with um, holding on, almost like a, a pull-up bar, and then just leg raises. And then what else did I do? I, forget, I feel like I'm forgetting something. It's in the edit, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, that's like... It was a three hour workout pretty much. It's not that long for me, I mean. Oh shit, I don't wanna brag, you know I fuck. Nah, but three hours isn't really too much if you think about it, like, you get used to it guys anyways, but that's not the point. The point is that like my average back workout has a little, a few more exercises, but my lower back was already pre-fatigued. So I, when I do heavy deadlifts, I don't like doing um, standing rows with like a barbell and all that kind of shit, because it puts way more stress in my lower back and then I won't be able to squat the next day because tomorrow I'm going to be squatting after I hit arms. So stay tuned. But, but yeah, guys, so now I'm about to head home, eat, drink some protein. I'll probably feel something there, maybe. I appreciate all the support, guys. Let me see. I kind of want to end all my videos with, like, a nice motivational kind of shit because, like, I love motivating. I feel like I actually it helps people to hear some of this shit. So, like, let me see. At the top of my head, like, this guy was talking about procrastination and it really, like, really, like, gets you right here because, like, uh, I watched it and then he says that people think of procrastination as schoolwork, work, or like other shit. But, in re uh, but procrastination works because you have a deadline. So you procrastinate till the, a day before the deadline. Therefore, you get like super pressure to do something. But procrasti the way procrastination works in life is that there's no deadline. So then you're procrastinating, your procrastination in life is gonna take forever if you keep procrastinating it because there's no deadline so there's nothing pressuring you to like really get into what you want to do in your life so be aware that if you're not doing what you like right now or what you love you're actually procrastinating throughout life so like get to it you know it's never easy to start stuff it's not easy for me to like talk to a camera and shit in front of like that's why most of my videos probably don't have any like me talking in the gym because like I kind of get self-conscious about people staring and shit but like I'll warm up to it don't worry but like nothing's easy at first so like 
you gotta work your way into it and like getting out of your comfort zone which is why I started like it's also a way it's gonna help me like doing these like vlog type stuff and filming in the gym kind of gets me out of my comfort zone which is a good thing because you you grow that's how you grow you get out of your comfort zone and you grow sorry I, I'm sorry this is like a little boring because like I got off on a tangent you know if there's it triggers more things that I want to talk about but like I'll probably make maybe make a video about it but anyways thank you guys for all the support thank you guys for watching today and I'll see you guys later don't procrastinate on your dreams guys all right if you ever need a helper hey you should know that I'll be there day and night nobody else can love you better